My name is Alma Gomez, and I'm the appointing GOB contact representative to CRIF. I want to extend a warm welcome to our colleagues for this training program that is being provided by the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility Special Purpose Company, which we commonly refer to as CRIF SPC, and many of us just say CRIF. You are invited today to participate in a training program which will be providing an understanding of the CRIF um, SPC itself and the insurance products that it offers. To some people, insurance is one of the necessary evils that one hates paying for but wishes that after any event, payments are made regardless of the changes, of the damage and or of the policy conditions. I can confirm to you that there is no longer a fine print on the policies, and I do encourage persons to always read their policies and ensure that they understand the coverage, and most important, the exclusions within the policy. Never wait until the happening of an event to read the policy. Today you will be learning a lot about insurance and the application of it to a country rather than to an individual. So today, you will hear a lot about insurance, but this is not the traditional insurance, the one for a motor vehicle, the one for our house. This is a unique one called parametric insurance. This insurance is being provided by a company called CRIF SBC. And this company came about as a response to the devastation of Grenada and Cayman Islands by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. The Council of Ministers of Finance um, agreed to have this company form and to provide insurance coverage to the countries, that to the different governments of each country. It is not given to each individual. Belize is a founding member country of CRIF SPC and is one of the first jurisdictions to participate in the program. Since 2007, the government of Belize has been purchasing parametric insurance for hurricane and earthquake. Of late, Belize submit, substituted the earthquake cover with the excess rainfall cover, which is one of the latest insurance products provided by CRIF SBC. The substitution was done due to budgetary constraints and the usefulness of the product. Earthquake activity has increased, but many occur near to Belize and not from within Belize. While we do not experience excess, while we do experience ex, excess rainfall constantly, and many times we have experienced floods, events as recent as this week, there were reports of flash floods and flooded areas, but no excess rainfall reports. So the excess rainfall coverage is better for us than the earthquake, and, and that is why we had to do a substitution. As a member country of CRIF, Belize has benefited from scholarships provided to, the two, to two of our Met officers, and of recent, the National Meteorological Office was the recipient of weather instruments valued at US $100,000. Belize has also benefited from lower insurance premiums when regional claims were low and no, no one paid out on, when regional claims were low and of one payout under the excess rainfall cover in 2016. Yes, there has been hurricanes and tropical depressions which have affected Belize during the period 2007 to 2018. So why Belize has not yet collected any payout on the tropical cyclone insurance coverage over these years? The answer lies in the nature of the insurance policy and the country profile. The insurance offered by CRIF is different from that offered by the commercial insurance companies. CRIF will be explaining how the parametric insurance work and the, and the CRIF products. So I will leave that subject open for them and open for the discussions that you're gonna be having within the next day and a half. The CRIF policy is one of disaster risk financing tool that GOB would use to meet urgent recovery efforts after a major natural cat catastrophic event. In the event that there is a payout on the policy, GOB must report back to CRIF on the uses of the fund for the, from the payout. 
This requires that our colleagues track the use of the funds so that it can be accurately reported. With a combination of the indemnity insurance by the commercial in the insurance companies and the parametric insurance from CRIF, along with the disaster mitigation efforts of NEMO and other agencies, the recovery period after an event would be shorter than if none of these items were in place. Climate change is adding to our already diverse basket of risks. One more adap once more adaptation and mitigation comes to the forefront to ensure the safety of our people and animals. Not to mention our food security. It is important we all work together to make the best choice available and to take the appropriate action to face these challenges. We want to thank CRIF for extending this training program to Belize. We look forward to receiving the comments of our stakeholders after this training on whether the products offered by CRIF would be useful, applicable, and viable to Belize. I will now introduce to you Ms. Gina Sanguinetti and Ms. Maria del Carmen Acosta, both who are representing CRIF and who will be presenting for the next day and a half. Thank you very much, and I do hope you enjoy your training. I will pass on.